Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. Um, I'm just coming on this evening, it's Friday night here in Brisbane, and I'm just going to do a, a, a really easy craft with me. Um, I'm doing this one for Fiona Colley over at the uh, Lavender Blue group. Um, Fiona has asked me to do a little uh, craft with me for the group page. So I have um, sort of been pondering over different styles and types of ephemera that I could do something that's simple and easy. And I have come up with this uh, little trifold um, tag booklet. Really, really easy, very, very simple, but really pretty. Can look quite um, effective in an insert within your junk journals. Um, so the kit that I have chosen to showcase for this little piece tonight is the um, Pink Floral Dreams. It was one of the very first kits that I chose when I first started on the design team for Fiona. Um, it's a beautiful kit, it's very shabby chic, there are lots of roses, rose images throughout it, and pink as the name suggests. It's a good size kit, there are 10 um, double journal pages in the kit, and then there also comes another 10 pages of assorted ephemera. Uh, that includes a variety of pockets and envelopes, tags, the artist trading card size, of, um, pieces, or, it's just a really, really good kit. So I will link that below. Um, but yeah, so let's just get on to it. I've, I've prepped a little bit in advance, so just to save us some time. But yeah, pa basically, it's just a trifold tag booklet. Um, I've just um, fixed it in place with a little paper clip that I've just added a little bit of ribbon to. Just fits really nicely there. Um, I've picked a page. This this particular project only takes. Uh, three pages from the kit and I have chose I have chosen to use some of the ephemera um, I've just done a little bit of a fabric layer here and I've just put a little wax heart on there just to finish that off this is one of um, the pages in the kit the double pages this is one side of one of the double pages it's and then I don't know if that's showing up very well on camera or not but yeah it's, it's beautiful tones lots of pinks and burgundies um, yeah, very, very pretty. So that's one of the sides of one of the pages. Um, and uh, throughout the kit there are also a couple of pages that are quite plain. So I have used um, uh, that one, this one on the back here. It's got like a, a very fine, faint butterfly impression throughout this page. Um, very pretty for a background page if you were using it in a journal. But I've used it on the background here. On the front here, I've, I've used one of the um, main pages, and then the same here with this floral image. That's one of the other double um, double journaling pages. But it's a really, really simple project. It's a trifold booklet, as I said, opens out, and it's and it contains three pockets. Um, and and in the ephemera side of this kit, there is also a page of tags. So I have used those tags and created tags to slip in the pockets. Um, yeah, so very, very pretty kit, and this is a very simple project, so we'll just get straight into it. I'll pop that to the side. So basically, like I said, I've done a little bit of prep work in advance just for time management. Um, so I'll put those all aside. That's your page, that's your page of tags. Um, so yeah, I've got my instructions here. It's just basically a piece of cardboard. I have used Manila Folder for mine, and um, you want to cut it to... 10 and 3 quarter inches across and 8 and a half inches in height. So that's your measurements for the piece of cardboard and then with your scoreboard it's simple as, I'll just bring my scoreboard in, it's as simple as, um, now I, I will say before I start this, I have modelled this uh, trifold booklet off of the size tags that I make. Now I do do a large tag, my tags measure six inches long by three and a quarter inches wide um, but if you were if you were used to using a smaller tag you would just modify the booklet to the size of your tag so um, basically I'm scoring my piece of cardboard it's cut to ten and three quarters in length and eight and a half high so my first score mark is going to be at three and a half and I'm just going to score that straight down through there like so 
and then I've added on an eighth of an inch to that score line um, just so that because the taste can be quite bulky that extra score line just gives us a bit of a gusset through there so that it's it's not tight on the fold there's just a little bit of room there so that's your first score mark uh, the second score mark is seven and one eighth of an inch seven and one eighth and then another one eighth of an inch beside that one so that's basically that like so and then I just turn it to the eight and a half inch side and I'll score it at six and a quarter inches. Okay, and that is it. That is our, our scoring done, our cutting done, as simple as that. So then what I do is, I this is obviously going to be your pocket region down here, so I'm just gonna fold that up and give it a nice burnish so that all of that stays down really nicely. And then I'm not gonna so much try to fold along both score marks as much as I'm just going to sort of yeah slightly fold it so that that gusset creates itself kind of thing so fold over like so and fold over like so and that's your booklet done simple and easy as that now to get it into the tag shape all that I do is I grab my template tape tag and I just on one side go up to the edge and you know keep it keep it nice and um, even along both these sides don't worry too much about this side and I simply just cut that corner off along that tag there like that and then I move it over onto the other side and I just again so that these sides now are nice and even with each other and I just again cut it off like that and then your booklet becomes tag shaped simple easy easy to do and that is the book now it's just your decorating Sim very very easy and a fun project so as I said I've done a few things um, in advance just because I tend to run out of time so I've just picked another couple, another page in the in the uh, kit, one of the double fold junk journal or journal pages, and I've simply taken my tag template again, and I've just picked on the page where I want to cut my tag from, and I've simply just laid my tag down and traced around my tag and cut it out. Um, what I have done is I have added on to this to the booklet itself. I've added on about an eighth of an inch on either side in those measurements that I just scored to I've added on about an eighth of an inch to the tag so that there's room around around in the pocket um, and yet yeah, so then um, sorry I'm getting sidetracked so then they just fit really nicely on your areas because you've, you've used the same tag template so let's just get into it and we'll start putting some paper down. Oh dear, it's been a very... Well, what, what you could do, actually, you, we, you could, um, in advance, you would go through what I would do. I don't know if I will on this video because I'll probably end up running out of time. But I would probably go ahead before I put paper down and um, ink up all my edges because there is a little bit of a... Uh, a frame around the pattern paper that I would want nicely inked up but just for time I won't worry about doing that at the moment we'll do it at the end if we've got time so I'm thinking this is my front cover so I'm thinking I really like that piece on my front cover I have gone around and distressed all the edges with um, um, distress ink so now I'm just going to put down my, and I'm just using glue stick because again it's paper to paper I've just printed these out on just your, your normal copy paper and um, so I find that glue stick works quite well in that scenario and I am just just going to as as much as I can just level it up with centre and it can come up a little bit higher actually glue stick is so sticky that'll be good 
Oh, that's cut a bit too long. I'll have to trim that off, but that's all right. And then I just give that a really good burnish. I'll just cut that flush with the cardboard. Like so. so that is my front cover. Um, now my back, well, that's my front cover, as it will fold over like so. This is the next insert inside cover. So I'm going to pick this floral and put that one there. And then that way when that folds over, you've got that pretty image there. And then you've got this next one here. I'm just going to lay that one down. And let's hope I make a bit of a better job with getting it getting it down this time because the other one is a little bit skew with. Just lay that down as much in the center as I can. That's much better. <laughs> and I'll just give that a really good burnish. Uh, for the very back center, I've just picked these planar, I've, I've picked the planar pages for the rest of, of um, the, the booklet because on the inside you've got your tags that will slip in so that's your focal point so for this one here I'm just going to put down one of these um, background pages like so and I think in all honesty, it's better if you line it up at the bottom rather than try and line <coughs> rather than try and line that up at the top. It works better that way. Let's give it a bit of a burnish like that. And so that's the that's the outer part of the tag booklet, papered up, ready to go. It's such a simple simple project but it really can look very pretty all right so now we've got the inside and I'm just going to once again just put this plain background paper actually isn't it funny the different ink colors that you get my cartridge ran out of it as I was halfway through printing this so I had to go and get another one my original cartridge the colors are, much, are pink but the center ones have come out the more of the sepia tones it's just odd but anyway so we're going to just lay these three down hope everyone has been keeping well and getting some time for crafting. It's been a very hectic week this week. My daughter is moving as well as working and she is a single mum with a eight month old. So Nana has been doing a lot of babysitting and Nana is getting very tired. <laughs> it's all worth it though. He's a, he's a sweet little boy. Right, because you won't actually see that bit of a crease there. That'll be covered over by the pocket. And then the last one there. And then up, just at that bottom score line, just above it. It really is a very stunning kit, this one. It's a big kit. Um, I have used it in my very first design team project and then I went on to make an, an actual journal from the kit for my mum for Mother's Day. And it's really very pretty. Alright, so we've got our three sections inside the booklet papered. We've got our three section on sections on the outside of the book papered. So again, once it folds, it's going to fold like that that I'm not happy about but that's okay we'll cover that with ink and I can do I can always do like a side embellishment 
down there I could put something down there like so a bit of fabric fabric ruffle or something okay so in um, part of the kit there was these um, the ACT size cards and I have discovered that if you trim them down stuck some they're a perfect fit on these front pockets so I'm just going to pick three stuff off my scissors. I so have to get myself a new pair of scissors. It isn't funny. I keep saying it and I don't ever do anything about it. But it's one of those things I have to do. Alright, so I am thinking if I cut it down, just eyeballing here, if I cut it down to that black line, that should be a fairly perfect fit. Or just just above that black line. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, okay, it can come down a bit more on the height. So that's okay, I'll just cut that there. Cut a little bit off that top. And a little bit off this bottom. Sorry. Oh. I'm going to take just another sliver off there because I just want a little bit of border of the manila folder. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to use that as my template for the rest of them. And I'm just going to pick three. I'm just going to lay that on the top like so, as even as I can. And I'm just going to basically cut around that. There's probably a more professional way to do this. Maybe measuring is a good idea. But oh, I get a bit... I don't like to measure much. One, two, and then I love this one, so I'm going to just line that up as best we can and cut away. I'm trying to keep it nice and still thin. Here. Right, I'll get rid of all these little bits here. Now let's see, let's see. So we've got one for there and one for there and one for there. Nice. So I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on these ones.
the glowy page. And I'll pop that one down. Side. I'm just going to get my powder tool that's got down in the excess glue, so I'm just going to wipe some of that away and get some of that with my fingers. Alright, so that is the construction of the book. The rest of it is embellishing. Um, a very, very simple project. Loving it. We could put some ink down. And I will ink up to those areas. But I will do something to hide this part where I was completely crooked. Um, I have sewn in some areas, machine stitched on mine. I will show you that shortly. Um, that again is personal choice. Um, I wanted to machine stitch around the entire thing, but I ended up just going around the pocket area. My machine wasn't happy with the two layers of the, of the um, manila folders. So I think I need to get a new needle. So I just didn't want to push my machine. So I've just I'll show you in a minute where I have where I um, machine stitch, but I would probably machine stitch around the complete perimeter of the um, the tag booklet. Because but that's me. I like to machine stitch, so that like I said is personal choice. And then we'll just ink. I bet you this is all blurry on camera. Oh, ink along this line here, I'm sorry. I have to learn to not move my project around so much when I'm filming. I'll just go up through there. And again, I'm inking really heavily because that's my style. Um, if you, you know, you could even use a coloured cardstock and then you wouldn't need to ink at all if you had something in your pinks or um, yeah some, something to tie in with the colours of the kit that could look very pretty as well if you weren't real keen about inking and I'll fold that up and I'll just go along this bottom like that okay so that's the front and the inside all inked up now, as, as I said, this is where I have stitched with my machine. I've just come along and I've stitched this pocket before I've actually glued it down. And I did stitch down the middle, the middle score line just to secure it all together. But on the ends here, my machine just wasn't happy. So I've just glued down there. But ideally, I would like to machine stitch around the whole thing once I get my new needle. Um, now, with the tags, the... the, the um, the sheet of tags that you get in the kit, they're a little bit smaller than the, my tag template. So what I did in that instance, I cut my tag template, I covered it with music paper, and then I've cut the tags and I've laid it on um, to give again that edge. And then I've machine stitched around the actual tag and I've just tied it off with some um, organza ribbon. I've, do, I've used two colours there, pink and the coffee colour. So they come up really, really nicely. It's just, a, it's a very nice kit, this one. So again, they will fit, fit really nicely into these pockets, like so. You've got enough room around each tag and the pocket to be able to sew. Put it on there. You've got a nice edge here, about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So you could sew around that quite nicely. And it, and because we gave it that eighth of an inch extra in the score, it just closes up really, really nicely like so. And then I just, um, I just got a gold paper clip and I've again just attached the same organza ribbon just to the end of it and you just fold it closed like that. 
And then, as I said, I've just embellished this one with some um, fabric. I've got a bit of linen and a bit of sheer fabric and just a wax heart on there. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Not hard at all. Um, what I will try to do is in the description box down below, I've given you the um, measurements in inches, but I'll try and convert them to centimetres and I'll just leave that in the description box down below. But yeah, a really, really simple, easy project. If you like to work with digitals, I will link uh, Fiona's Etsy down below with a direct link to the kit. Um, and I will also link over to the uh, Lavender Blue group, the Facebook group. And uh, yeah, Fiona um, does Freebie Fridays and she does Craft With Me videos herself. So yeah, really worthwhile checking it out and, and uh, maybe joining, joining in on the Lavender Blue group. So thank you so much for um, joining me tonight. I hope this is helpful and, and I hope that you give it a try and make something for your junk journals. Um, and yeah, please go over and check the um, Pink Floral Dreams kit. Really, really pretty. Alright, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.